on military holds. It's now been nine months since Senator Tuberville began his reckless hold on hundreds of military promotions. Frankly, Ms. Madam President, patience on both sides, both sides of the aisle, is wearing very, very thin. Every day, Senator Tuberville continues his reckless blockades of military promotions. America's national security pays the price. Our military readiness pays the price. Military families, spouses who need to start new jobs and children who need to start into schools pay the price. It's the responsibility of Senate Republican colleagues to importune Senator Tuberville to stand down, let these military nominees go through, and tell him to start putting his hard right political demands ahead of America's national security. I know some Republicans have been trying to work with Senator Tuberville over the past week to find some last ditch solution, but he seems to remain ironclad in his stubbornness. So tomorrow, the Senate Rules Committee, led by Senator Klobuchar, will mark up a resolution allowing the Senate to quickly confirm the promotions currently blocked by Tuberville, by Senator Tuberville. I thank my colleagues and Chair of Armed Services Committee, Senator Reid, for his work on this resolution. If Senator Tuberville continues his blanket holds on military nominations, if he won't even listen to members on his own side of the aisle, I will bring Senator Reid's resolution to the floor for a vote as soon as possible. That way we can end Senator Tuberville's farce and quickly confirm the over 350 military promotions, people who've served their country long and well, we can finally move them to their rightful promotions. I yield the floor. Note the absence of a quorum.